here. I came home yesterday, 12 of my 17 piglets out. And I've been having some trouble with that. And I don't understand because I checked my fence and I've got six and 7,000 volts, but they're just kind of walking right through it. I checked my ground rod. I got 2,000 volts on my ground rod. So I've really been doing some uh, reading, trying to understand why they're not getting shot. And I've had some friends lately that's had trouble with the same thing. They've had a group of pigs that they're saying won't stay in the fence either. And they've had to actually put up electric netting to get them to stay in. So my question would be, why do some pigs stay in and then sometimes they won't stay in? So the more I read about this electric fencing, the more I understand what the problem is. So hang out with me. I'm gonna show you how to fix this problem. I think I figured it out. So let's get at it. So the first thing I thought it was, was I thought my DC uh, charger was just not putting out enough charge. And I was still getting seven to 10,000 volts on one tester and around 7,000 volts on another tester. So, you know, I'm thinking, well, it's DC. It's not putting out as much charge. Put the pigs in you know, they're getting out. So I changed that. I'm close enough to this corner of property where I can actually run AC power. Luckily, my Patriot charger comes with AC and DC capability. So I just changed the cord. I put on my AC power. So now I have all the power I need. I'm running a fencer the best I can. And my pigs are still getting out. I don't think I have enough ground rods placed so that when the pigs touch the wire, they're actually getting shocked. So this could be the problem. A lot of us pig farmers do rotational paddocks and we put in just a small temporary ground rod. I don't think we're getting enough ground to create that circuit for the size paddock we're making and the pigs are just walking through not getting shocked. It's kind of like standing on a chair and reaching down and touching the wire, you're not grounded. So you have the power flowing through the wires, but you don't have the earth or the ground good enough to make that circuit complete so the shock happens. So let's put in some more ground rods and see if that helps. So now we're gonna connect our ground wire to our ground rods. And we're gonna use a 14 gauge uh, steel wire, aluminum wire on uh, alloy uh, ground rods. Everything else I've read too says if you use a copper ground rod, you need to use copper wire. If you use galvanized ground rods, you need to use an aluminum or a steel wire or galvanized wire so that electrolysis doesn't take place. Big fancy word for mixing the different kinds of metals actually causes that electrolysis to take place. And what happens is that they actually uh, cause corrosion at the ground rod and then you lose connection and you lose your ground. So big word electrolysis, but that's what it means. It causes corrosion between the two different metals and you don't get a good ground out of it. Yeah. Woo. Come on, let's get a little more feed so you stay in while I get this done. Yeah. Oh, I got everything turned off. I don't want them to get out while I'm doing it. So let's show you, which I'm sure you already know. Let's put on a ground rod clamp. We gotta get you down where you can see. All right, 
now you can see here I gotta go get a screwdriver So I, so I went out to the end of my wire and put it through it so that I wouldn't have to cut it. Now I have one continuous wire. Don't know that that's best, but that's the way I did it. So we will loosen it up. We will make, hook it to the ground rod. Then we will tighten it around the ground rod, which is pretty self-explanatory. Right. So, so now you can notice this wire comes from the first ground rod we had. I run it through that hole, just connected it to my ground rod and we'll go do the next one All right. so we will cut our wire off so that we have plenty of slack move this to the side so it don't move away from us We'll get out our new ground clamp. Loosen everything up. All right, so now we have three ground rods. They're eight foot rods. We have about six inches sticking out on each. So let's say we got seven, 14, we got 21 feet of ground rod in the ground. And we got about a half a jewel charger. So we should have plenty, plenty, plenty of, uh, we should have plenty, plenty, plenty of ground or earth. You'll see it called earth sometimes. Grounding and earth is earthing is the same way. All right. So let's go connect back to our first one and see how it goes. Alright, so we've connected these two wires. Now we will attach them to our ground cable. So now we'll ground, connect the ground 
back to here. Back to our charger. If everything is correct now, we should have enough grounding rods in place that we're not losing any power or have any power going back to the earth. It's all going to our fence. Alright, still says point eight. Alright, so we've only got point eight there now, which I was hoping it'd say zero. And we've got 6.5 kilovolts that way. So we got seven, almost 7,000 volts on the wires, none on the earth. We should be grounded enough now, hopefully. Now I guess I've got them all in here. We just wait and see if they get shocked. If this doesn't work, then we'll just add, put them back in a training pen and retrain. But I'm hoping this is gonna correct our problem. Up here this morning to see if the fence is working. Let's see how many are here. We had all 17 here yesterday. Let's see how many are still here now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 pigs are all here. Hey, piggy, piggy, you're still where you're supposed to be. So it's the morning after we installed the ground rods. We had 17 pigs when we left yesterday afternoon about 2 o'clock. It's 10 o'clock on Sunday morning. We did this project on Saturday and all 17 pigs are still here. That is a definite win. I think we've got the problem fixed. This proves that if you're having trouble keeping your animals in, whether it's pigs or goats or sheep or whatever it is, you got plenty of voltage on your fence and you can't understand why they're walking through it, check your ground. Without enough ground, you have all the voltage you want and no one gets shot. Yeah, worked that time. Guys, thanks for watching. I hope this video helps some of you out. Go down, please like our content. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't. As always, we'll do it all again tomorrow. 17 little piggies in the pasture where they're supposed to be.